in the Bible, the, the God is referred to as the Lord of hosts. And I just want to thank God for all the angels that he's dispatching, for all the administrators that he's dispatching in all of your lives, no matter where you're watching from, from around the world. And I, I just had this sense as we were worshiping and as we were encountering the Lord that, that God uh, is so pleased at the sacrifices that you've been making. And in this season specifically, there's a lot of people that are making a lot of sacrifices. And the thing that he was revealing to me is that so many of us have no clue that we've been making sacrifices. And some of us have been complaining about the sacrifices. But, but some of us have no clue about the sacrifices. And I saw us in heavenly places building altars and building things and building uh, sacrificial moments to the Lord. And I feel like what the Lord's about to do is take us into realization and into consciousness and our memory of what we've been uh, sacrificing over the past couple of weeks and over the past couple of months and for some of you over the past years and the Lord's about to bring that remembrance almost like the book of remembrance is being open to you and there's things that the Lord is going to show you about things that you've sacrificed days weeks and months and years ago that the Lord what he's doing is he's going to breathe on those and he's breathing fire and there's some of you right now that are in your homes in your cars in your office wherever you're at and and you feel physically cold and I feel like the Lord is going to visit you in fire and other of you feel physically hot I feel like the Lord's going to visit you in a wind and and there's going to be a contrary thing to the Lord visiting you and he's going to bring angels that are going to bring fire to you like like he did with Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 6 that, that Isaiah was in the throne room and, and a coal was brought to Isaiah's mouth in order to preach and there's going to be fire that's going to fall on the sacrifices that you've made over the past weeks, months, and years and some of you it's going to happen like this there's going to be signs that, that, that accompany that there'll be demonstrations of Jesus Christ in those moments there'll be demonstrations of Jesus Christ in the, in the sacrifice, in the fire that the Lord puts on, on in your hearts and in, in your lives, and it'll be headaches being removed. I feel like headaches are being removed right now. Migraines are being re removed right now. There's like splinters in people's minds and splinters in people's heads, and those are being taken out. Um, even multiplication, I saw, I saw your, pa go to your pantries. I saw food multiplying in your pantries. I see bank accounts multiplying. Check your pockets. I feel like you, 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 money will, will start appearing in your pockets, and it'll be a visible sign of what the Lord is doing with, with sacrifice, with pouring in to sacrifice, with pouring into sacrifice and putting fire on sacrifice. putting it. So we bless you with a consciousness of that you've been sacrificing. And we thank you, God, that you honor that. And I saw us like little children saying, look at what I've built, Lord. Look at what I've sacrificed. And I saw the Lord's pleasure on each moment of sacrifice that you've made over the past weeks and the months and the years. And I think there's something on the years too. And we bless you we bless you with the revelation and the demonstration of Jesus Christ in your household.